Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video, we modeled uh, this table, the laptop, and the coffee cup. Uh, in this video, we're going to model the rest of the items. So let's go ahead and get started. You hey guys, I'm gonna uh, speed up the process a little bit. I'm gonna move this coffee, uh, the center table, and then I'm gonna duplicate it uh, for the TV stand. Uh, I am going to modify it. I'm going to build the shelves. Uh, one book, the remote control, the TV, and the picture. But I'm going to speed up the process, so pay attention. Uh, and then when, when we finish that, I'll just show you what to do to go ahead and finish it. Um, so I'm going to finish off this coffee table this TV stand, the TV, the picture, shelf, book, uh, and then we'll see you on the other side. And so here what I'm gonna do is I am going to take this table and select all these edges because I wanna bevel it, add a little bit of a bevel, makes it a little bit more realistic. There's the bevel tool. Not, a, not that I've got that done. I'm just going to clone it over. There's our TV stand. Just a clone of the other table. But with the TV stand, I'd like to modify the legs. What I did with the couch is what I did with the legs. Made it a little bit thinner. And there's our TV stand. Get another cube. And that's our TV. Make it really, really thin. Go to the back face, extrude it in, and then pull it out. This one the same, extrude it in, and then extrude it uh, inward uh, for the screen. Uh, the picture frame on the wall is another cube, easy. Select that uh, front face, right there. Select that front face, extrude it in, and then extrude it in, in towards. Oh, push it in, and then extrude it in. Uh, and that's the picture, easy. Uh, yet another cube. And we're going to do that shelf. It's an easy shelf. Boom, there it is. Put it up on the wall, duplicate it. And let's do a book. For the book, I just uh, made it book size. Right about there. I selected uh, the pages and I extruded only in one direction at a time. Right there. And then made the pages. Those are the pages. I think I uh, modified it a little bit. I made them, a, the, the covers, I made them a little thinner there. I think the, the uh, back spine, I made it a little thicker. And that's our book, that's it. it's just one cube. Um, I'm gonna make several copies here. Lean one over and then put some on their sides. Remember that keyboard shortcut to rotate in 15 degree increments is a J. Uh, yet another cube uh, for the remote. Make it remote size, add some subdivisions. Remember uh, the subdivisions are in the poly cube tab. Just make it a little thinner towards the end, a little thinner um, and then make, just make it that size. Create a cylinder for the buttons. That cylinder, I, I sized it really, really down. And I am going to add a bevel right there, um, just a small bevel, so that when we smooth it, it retains that uh, cylinder. Uh, just make duplicates, center them, duplicate more. Just move them over, move one over for the power, move those over, and that's it. We hey guys, finally, I did this, uh, um, remote control i'm going to select all of its components without selecting the room hit f to fit f to fit uh, and you can see that this is the front the side top and perspective i am going to combine this uh, since i'm never going to move those freely i'm just going to combine them uh, mesh combine and that combines it into one object and I can uh, now size it, rotate it, uh, do whatever I need to do. Zoom out, and it's going to go on top of this table, but I think I want it a little bit smaller. 
yeah, W, maybe, maybe make it a little bit smaller and then place it over here and then rotate it, uh, something like that. I'm gonna do that chair real quick. Uh, it's just a matter of copying this, W, clone it, and like we did with the table, we just need to modify it. So let's go ahead and get that done. Uh, in the, uh, I'm gonna hit F, 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 and go to vertex mode. And then I'm just going to bring these in, make it a little smaller, uh, bring this in, make it about the same, um, about square, uh, bring these and then push them down uh, enough to give your legs enough room to go there. And then, uh, that's my chair, it's a stool right now, but like we did with the couch, I'm going to select all of them, hit F, and then I'm going to bring these two, this one and this one, uh, extrude, hold down the shift, extrude out, and there's our chair. The only other thing I'm gonna do is create a cube and put it right in the center. Size it, size it. Center it right on that chair. And then, um, oh, size it here too. And then I'm gonna add a couple of uh, um, subdivisions just quickly down the X to there. I am going to go to vertex mode and round this off just by moving them back. Oops, W to move. I just round it off a little bit, not too terribly right there. And just rotate it. Go to object mode, place it in place, E to rotate. I'm gonna rotate it right there. Check it in the perspective. There it is, there it is. Uh, and then I'd like to bring one of these uh, clone it, clone it, but remember, it's still part of that group. If I select the couch, it's gonna select that one too. So what I'd like to do is bring it out of this group, uh, middle mouse click and drag, drag it outside the group. Now it's no longer, if I select the couch, this is no longer part of it. So bring it right next to the chair and then size it down. Go to my top view, R to scale, W to move. Let me see if I'm gonna make it way, way, way thinner. Usually don't have that big of a cushion on the chair. <clears throat> and that's it. Here I'm just going to show you briefly how to add color. Now I've already done a video on this. Uh, you can check out the video here. Uh, but quickly, we're going to add a material. In the rendering shelf, uh, you've got all your materials here. And since this is a table, I don't want it to be very, very um, shiny. So I'm gonna add a Lambert. Uh, you can always quickly uh, label your materials and then change the color here. I'm gonna make it uh, like a light yellow-ish, like that. Uh, and there, that's how you add quickly materials, solid materials, guys. We're gonna do all this solid materials, not a big deal. Now I'm gonna show you how I am going to convert this laptop into one object using the combine. And then we're gonna do a group, uh, just like we did with this couch, we converted it into a group and we can select the group here in the outliner. And so the laptop, I'm gonna select both of them, hit F to fit in view. And let's uh, let's give it a material. 
This one I do want a little bit of a shine since it's a, a shiny uh, material. And let's uh, let's just call it laptop. And uh, let's color it a little darker gray, just so we can uh, differentiate it from the background. Boom, there it is. What I'd like to do is project a, a uh, picture on the screen as if the laptop was turned on. So uh, go to right click and hold, go to face mode, select that one face, and let's create a new material for it. New material. And the color, I'm just gonna click red just so that I can see that, yep, it's a, it's a new material. I'm gonna go again to select uh, faces. I'm gonna select that face. Uh, and this blend tool, let's call it screen. And here in the color, we're going to replace the color with an image. So I'm gonna click on this little checkerboard icon. Boom, click it and you get the uh, render note. And I am going to select a file so that I can replace that color red a file. Uh, and nothing happens. It just goes back to gray, but it's asking for an, uh, an image. So I'm going to click the folder so that I can look for uh, an image. And it should automatically bring you to your project folder in the source images folder. I've already placed it here. I've also done a video explaining project folders and you can check it out here. But I'm gonna just click on that laptop screen and hit open. Uh, and then you don't see anything. Uh, remember, number four, if you click number four on your keyboard, that's the wireframe. Number five is solid shaded, which that's what we're looking at. And then number six is textured mode. And there's my texture. Uh, but you notice that my image is way, 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 way too big. It didn't know how to apply the size. And we can quickly fix this with the UV planar projection map. So I select that face, go to the UV menu, and then we're going to uh, just project a planar. I'm going to click the options by clicking on the little box here, the planar projection options. And I am going to select for it to project on the Z, on the Z going this way. Uh, and then let's hit apply. Boom, and there it is. It automatically makes it fit uh, because it's projected on the Z. Now that we've got uh, our image there, now I can, let me go to side view. I'm gonna hit F and then uh, space bar. And then I'm going to W to move, hold down the D key, the D key to move that pivot point. And I'm gonna put it way down here in the center of that hinge and then E to rotate. And now I'm gonna rotate it before I convert it into a uh, one object. Select all three objects, the top, the bottom, and then that hinge and let's uh, convert it into a one solid mesh. Remember, I've got three, cube eight, cube nine, and cylinder, and I'm gonna hit combine, boom. Uh, and now it's one object. I can uh, rotate it as an object, I can size it, I can do whatever I want. So now I'm going to select the laptop, the cup, and the table, and I'm going to group them. So go to uh, edit group and there's my group. I'm going to call it table or I'm going to call it desk. Desk and I can select this desk. But wait, look at the uh, remember what happened to our couch, the pivot point. So let's go to the quad view. I am going to hit uh, A for fit all A, A, A and D, hold down the D key so that I can move that uh, pivot point to the bottom of that desk, more or less in the center. It doesn't have to be accurate. Uh, all I need to do is um, be able to rotate it whenever I want, rotate it and move it wherever I need it. Uh, and now that it's a, uh, now that it is a uh, desk, a group, I can even size the whole thing. 
I can size it, not a big deal. Undo that. Cool. So guys, all I did, I'm gonna I'm gonna save this, but all I did is I went around and colored each thing. Um, I did a couple more boxes for the TV stand, not the table, and then I placed a, uh, a PlayStation here. I put a picture in the picture, uh, just like we did with the laptop. Placed the picture in the TV. Let me go ahead and open up the finished product. I'm gonna save this. This is the finished product, guys. Again, um, all I did here was maybe move the chair up. Oh, and I created a uh, a cylinder trash can. Not a big deal. Copied one of the books onto this table. Copied a couple books onto this table. Uh, that's just a cube for the, I'm gonna hit F for the PlayStation. That's another cube. We did a cube for the TV, so, uh, and this is another cube. I just extruded up in down and then up not a big deal and that's it oh another cube for the rug cube there's like 57 cubes and one two three cylinders oh and and the cylinders for the buttons uh, i added a couple lights you can't see them because i hit them let's show them here lights uh, and one of them is a, an area light overhead which is this one Another uh, fill light right here to fill the uh, shaded areas. And then this one volume light to just give it over. It's just barely 0.7. If I take it down, you'd see that it's just a little bit of a volume light. Plus I turned on anti-aliasing and um, screen space ambient occlusion. Turned it on. You can see the difference right there. It gives it a little bit of a shadow in the crevices and the corners. And that's all I did, guys. This is, I'm going to hide those lights again. Hide all the lights. And this is it. Uh, we've modeled uh, and shaded and placed pictures on this living room. Low polygon living room scene. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you, guys.